Hi, I'm Lindsay Abadi. I'm an associate and architect at Nelson Partners, and this is Profiles. I grew up in a military family. I moved around a lot. My dad was a pilot in the Air Force, and every time we moved, it wasn't really a negative thing for me. It was exciting to explore a new city's fabric, to move into a new home, to get to set up my bedroom. It's something that I have fond memories of. When I went to college, I studied interior design. While I was there, I really quickly realized that it was the building's skin that I was most interested in. I finished my interior design degree and then I immediately went to the University of Florida to pursue my master's in architecture. The opportunities that I've had through my education, through study abroad, have really made me love this profession. I had the opportunity to study in Hong Kong um, and Xi'an, China, which I think was, I saw all my peers going to Europe and I felt really lucky to get to have a different experience to work with students in Xi'an, learn about their culture through the lens of architecture. When I was in architecture school, I was in love with Chicago. The idea of Chicago, all of the buildings, the icons that are there, I just knew that I had to be there and experience that collection of great American buildings. So immediately after graduating, I packed my bags um, and I moved to Chicago to start my career. And every day I would walk by buildings like the Wrigley Building on my way to work and just feel in awe to be close to that history. Um, Marina City by Bertrand Goldberg, all like really great influential buildings and to be able to see those every day um, and know that you're practicing in a city that has produced so much good work. Um, you know, love Mies van der Rohe and the influence that he's had on Chicago, it really inspired me in my career. I think that elevating the voices of women like you do with WIA is the best thing that we can do. We should all be illuminating the accomplishments of our peers, especially women, and giving them a voice, and more importantly, building up their toolkit. Um, new women coming into the profession that has historically been male-dominated, teaching them what tools they have to make their voice just as loud and ensure that they feel like they have a place at the table that is just important as everybody else that is sitting in that room. The project that's had the biggest impact on me and my career is the 1111 West 6th Street project. I started working on this project back in, I wanna say 2017 or 2018. It used to be the old AISD headquarters, uh, postmodern red brick, and our client was going to turn them into two office buildings. One of them would reuse the structure of the old building and then one of them would be a new building ground up. So. At this point in my career, it was probably the largest project that I had the opportunity um, to manage. And right before the pandemic, we got building permits, we were all set up, we were ready to go. And then March of 2020, we all know what happened. And the client said, we need to hit pause. We're about to build two new office buildings and this is what's happening in the world right now. And I really respect them that they said, hey, we need to rethink this. And so we went back to the drawing boards, literally. We reduced square footage of the interior space and gave more space to the exterior, creating a plaza space out there right off of 6th Street. Through the course of the pandemic, we all worked remotely to redesign both of these buildings and pull new permits. 
The first building was completed last year and that is the building that reused the existing structure and it's no longer a postmodern building. I'm really proud to have been a part of it and then the second building will be finishing up this September. Um, so there will be a new office campus right there between 5th and 6th Street just to the west of downtown.